Ronan Reigns vs. The Rock Inevitable in the new era of WWE, Triple H defies a big Vince McMahon rule, Jay Uso breaks his silence after defeating Jimmy Uso at WWE WrestleMania 40, Rhea Ripley wins Female Superstar of the Year at the 2024 Slammy Awards, LA Knight wins Breakout Star of the Year at 2024 Slammy Awards, Ronda Rousey on her bond with Stephanie McMahon after anti-WWE remarks, CM Punk comments on The Rock's in-ring return, Roman Reigns is focusing the spotlight on his family members. Let's dive right in. In the new era of WWE, Triple H defies a big Vince McMahon rule. Triple H appears to have ended a long-standing rule established by Vince McMahon. Triple H is now in charge of WWE and everything that happens within the organization. The roster is functioning under him with the star's creative guidance pushing them to new heights. Before him, Vince McMahon was in charge of almost everything that happened in the corporation, including the creation of numerous rules. Vince McMahon has long been known to dislike the United States national anthem and favor America the Beautiful. As a result, this is the song that has started the majority of WrestleManias in the past when the prior chairman was still in power. However, now that he is no longer in command, it appears that Triple H has decided to end that tradition and have famous singer and Grammy winner Coco Jones perform the Star Spangled Banner, the US National Anthem instead. While Vince McMahon did have the Star Spangled Banner sung on a few occasions, the emphasis was primarily on America the Beautiful. According to Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio, this is one of many changes that the company has witnessed since Triple H took over, and it looks that a decision was taken to abolish the Vince McMahon rule. Vince despised the National Anthem. Vince disliked it. He liked America the Beautiful and now that Vince is gone, that has changed. Jay Uso breaks his silence after defeating Jimmy Uso at WWE WrestleMania 40. WWE superstar Jay Uso has broken his silence following his win over his brother, Jimmy Uso, at WrestleMania 40 in front of Philadelphia fans. The two brothers had been preparing for their showdown for months. Jimmy and Jay put their best foot forward and commanded the attention of the audience. During the fight, Jimmy attempted to dupe Jay into believing he was willing to reconcile their issues. However, this proved to be a ruse. In the end, Jay Uso maintained his upward momentum by defeating his brother to win. Hours after the contest, the Yeet Master was quizzed about his feelings after his intense confrontation with Jimmy Uso. He admitted that he still loved his brother and was almost caught up in Jimmy's fake act of extending peace during the match. Yes, I have conflicting emotions because at the end of the day, Jimmy is still my twin brother, I still love him and see the good in him. He whacked me with the okie doke out there and attempted to land a W on me. Jay Uso remarked, I really believed him my twin telepathy was going off. It remains to be seen what the Stanford-based marketing has planned for the Yeet Master. Rhea Ripley wins Female Superstar of the Year at the 2024 Slammy Awards. Rhea Ripley has been regarded as one of the greatest female superstars of all time and 2023 has been a fantastic year for her. It's no surprise that she earned the Female Superstar of the Year honor. Female Superstar of the Year is one of the most prominent categories at the Slammy Awards this year, with the nominees including Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Io Sky, and Becky Lynch. Rhea Ripley, unsurprisingly, won the award, making it her second win of the year after earning Match of the Year. Rhea Ripley also successfully defended her Women's World Championship at WrestleMania Saturday, defeating Becky Lynch, which fans thought was highly deserved. We'll have to wait and watch what happens next for The Eradicator, as her star shines brighter by the day. Are you pleased to see Rhea Ripley win this category as well? Tell us in the comments section below. LA Knight wins Breakout Star of the Year at 2024 Slammy Awards The 2024 Slammy Awards were keenly anticipated, and a huge triumph was achieved in the category of Breakout Star of the Year. This year's prize categories include Breakout Star of the Year, which is highly prestigious. The nominees included Jay Uso, Tiffany Stratton, Pretty Deadly, Dragon Lee, and LA Knight. Finally, the award went to LA Knight, a pick that resonated strongly with fans considering his tireless attempts to distinguish himself during the year. Fans are excited for the announcement of other winners at this year's Slammy Awards, buoyed by the favorable outcome of this category. Are you pleased with the results for this category? Let us know in the comments. Ronda Rousey on her bond with Stephanie McMahon after anti-WWE remarks Ronda Rousey made news in the wrestling industry when she left WWE after her SummerSlam match against Shayna Baszler the previous year, opting to take a vacation from professional wrestling. However, she has recently gained notoriety for sharing numerous unexpected details regarding her time at WWE. She has now revealed facts regarding her connection with Stephanie McMahon. In her book, Our Fight, Ronda Rousey goes into her WWE experiences, offering genuine views into her time with the company. Notably, she uses violent language toward Bruce Prichard and John Laurinaitis, expressing her frustration by asking them to expletive themselves. Ronda Rousey even claimed that WWE discriminates against women. Ronda Rousey
Jesse spoke to KTLA about her connection with Stephanie McMahon, revealing that she adores McMahon and considers her a true friend. She's simply a true buddy, from the very beginning. We were supposed to be adversaries in the ring, but you normally get along best with the person you're feuding with. We were the ones beating each other up every week, and she was the one who guided me through everything and taught me about the complexities of the profession. She was a guidance for me when I didn't know what I was doing. I am always grateful to her. I couldn't say enough positive things about her. Ronda Rousey even warned Triple H that she couldn't be linked with mediocrity, accusing WWE of discriminating against women for resources. She can claim Stephanie McMahon had concussed her. Ronda Rousey's future remains uncertain. CM Punk comments on The Rock's in-ring return CM Punk, a well-known personality on WWE programming, recently discussed The Rock's highly anticipated return to the ring at WrestleMania 40 on Saturday. The Rock teamed up with Roman Reigns for his first advertised match in 11 years, against Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. After a lengthy 45-minute struggle, The Rock and Reigns emerged victorious, with The Rock winning by pinning Rhodes. On the ESPN Post show, CM Punk was asked about The Rock's performance. He mentioned that The Rock looked terrific, recalling about 10 years ago and the worries surrounding The Rock's return, specifically his physical condition and stamina. Despite the hurdles of a tag fight and returning to confront the champion, Punk thought The Rock performed nicely and appeared impressive. He closed by accepting The Rock's victory and stating that there was not much else to say about it. I thought he looked terrific. As someone who wrestled him 10 years ago, the same doubts arose. Everyone was curious about how he would look and how long he would be able to last. While there is a considerable difference between a tag fight and returning to confront the champion, I think he performed admirably tonight. I thought he looked quite good. What else can I say? He won the match. Fans eagerly await The Rock's return to the squared circle, as seeing the Great One compete after so many years was an exciting experience. What are your opinions on CM Punk's comments about The Rock's performance at WrestleMania 40? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Roman Reigns is focusing the spotlight on his family members. WWE superstar Roman Reigns discussed working with his family and The Rock during his current reign as champion. As the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Tribal Chief has controlled the professional wrestling landscape for the past 1,300 days. He dominated this sector with the assistance of his family, the Bloodline. After Jey Uso departed the stable, it appeared like they were losing momentum. However, with the acquisition of The Rock, the faction has become stronger and is expected to dominate the firm in the future. Speaking at the WrestleMania XL press conference, the champion stated that he was all about assisting his family members in reaching the top. He stated that his title reign created the stage for the storyline, which only grew larger with The Rock involved. I had the same mindset the entire time. I am a high tide and I hoist up everyone. The first thing I wanted to do was encourage my family including the Usos, Solo, and Dwayne. As I already stated, we prepped this thing perfectly. We put up the launch pad, then placed the rock and finally took off. Roman went on to say that the entire Bloodline saga was part of a planned effort to push the Usos and Solo. I could have simply said, Wiseman, we got it. We don't need anyone. However, we choose to highlight the Usos, Solo, and everyone. That's my MO, man. I'm not bothering with this Bloodline stuff. This is real to me. The Rock vs. Roman Reigns is bound to happen. Roman Reigns made a major error that almost cost him and The Rock the main match at WrestleMania on Saturday. WWE may have been hinting at a future match between the two Bloodline stars when they made that blunder. Roman Reigns vs. The Rock was always on the cards, but it was hijacked this year by a bad crowd reaction, with many believing Cody Rhodes should be the main event, especially given his second Royal Rumble victory this year. However, this does not rule out the possibility of Roman vs. The Rock in the future. During the night one main event of WrestleMania XL, Cody Rhodes moved out of the way, allowing Roman Reigns to hit the Great One with a spear. It was an extraordinary moment that seemed to foreshadow a showdown between the two guys. There is talk that WWE may have merely pushed the dream match a year forward due to the circumstances. The Rock standing on the TKO board looks to indicate that he is in it for the long haul, allowing him the opportunity to compete at WrestleMania again. The Rock suffered some amazing bumps on WrestleMania Saturday and wrestled his longest battle in more than 20 years. With the main event lasting 44 minutes, it will be interesting to see how things progress for the bloodline.